So this week, I was thinking I'd do a custom van. And the reason for that is, is I need a little bit more practice using Spectracolor paint. It's basically uh, a reproduction of the original paints that were used on the vintage Hot Wheel Red Lines. I really just wanted to do some practicing to try to get a finish like this on something like this before I actually start working on red line cars. But back to our van. I got some big wheels, and I mean big wheels, that we're going to put on this van. Come back here. And it should make this thing look pretty sweet, especially with a Spectre Flame cream pink paint job. So we're going to try it out. Let's get going. So first things first. Going to drill out our rivets. If you watched my last video, you'd see I used one of these handy, handy mechanical center punches. I had a van like this growing up. One of my fondest moments was stealing a bottle of red wine from my dad's pantry and sneaking out there with my buddies and drinking it. We thought we were all badass. Phase two, we're going to drill out our rivets. Move up to a little bit bigger drill bit. That looks pretty good. I should be able to pop this open now. It's like opening a time capsule. <laughs> beauty. Our interior is a little bit rough but well preserved. That should clean up real nice. There's our base. It's pretty decent considering it's older than I am. 1974. There's our body. So I'm gonna do the body first. Just to get the paint out of the way and we'll get that drying and then I'll work on the other stuff. Still using aircraft stripper. Made by Clean Strip. I got a pretty big jug so I'm going to be using this for a long time before I try something else. You can see how fast it gets rid of uh, whatever spray paint they put on here. Like almost instantly. However, the original paint from the 70s probably will be a little bit more resilient but we shall see yes yeah, it's working really good on this paint I've had some cars where I had to do this like three or four times but this car our van this is a breeze I'm gonna rinse this with soapy water and then Give it a little scrub with a brass brush just to clean all the paint out of like the little detailed parts. Got to do a little bit of cleanup. This should be real good. A real good candidate. Too bad we got a little bit of a casting boo-boo here. I don't think that's from playing with it. I think that's just a flaw. Well, adds character, I guess. This thing's played its... Fair amount of bumper cars here. I might just smooth that out a little bit. Normally, when you have a Spectra Flame car, the body itself is coated in zinc and it's polished, kind of like this guy. That'd be an example of a plated car. And then you'd spray this over your plated body to end up with this. 
So that's a lot of work. And if, um, unless you're a master at zinc plating, it can be quite difficult. So at the Redline shop, they have come up with like a new kind of sparkly base coat. I have some on order. I don't have any at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to base coat this van with a uh, tester silver. It's got pretty heavy flake content. It should be similar. So it'd be more of an experiment today. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So first things first, we're going to mix up our silver. Just need a little dab of this. Now it's a little bit thick, so we're going to thin that out. Something like that. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to mix my paint one more time. Before I load it in the brush here. Just because we need that metal flake to be free and I don't want to lose all my metal flake to the inside of the glass. We got to we got to shoot that flake. laying it on pretty thick just to uh, try to dull some of the imperfections in the casting. I think we're going to stop there. We did a pretty good job laying it on. No runs, no drips. We're going to let this set up, give it a couple hours, and then we're going to shoot the Spectra Flame on top of this. I believe the mixture for this is 6 to 1. Well, this stuff's ready to shoot right out of the bottle. I'm just make sure we give it a good mix. Six to one, they say. Something like that. The worst thing you could do is not put enough hardener in. I have more on order, so I might have been a little bit liberal, but that's all right. So we're going to start off with two light tack coats. Thank you. 
That's it. That is it. We are out of paint. Get a good focus here. I did get one fluffy come out of the gun there, right on the uh, the sunroof. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. And that might polish out later. But other than that, this thing is nice. All right, so getting back to our base. This thing is in pretty good condition, considering. But we aren't going to be using these axles, so I'm going to have to cut them out of here. The easiest way is just to cut the tires. Since it's not very oxidized, I'm just going to put a little wire wheel on my Dremel and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. There's some little bit of overspray on here from where the last guy painted our van brown, but that'll be no problem. Definitely got some nice detail on this casting. I'd like to paint these fog lights up, maybe even the side markers and the headlights. Get some extra color on this thing. Now we need to make way for some axles. I'm gonna cut these spots out where the old axle was crimped. Something like that. Do a test. These little bumps right here are going to affect how good this sits in here, so I'm going to have to grind those off. Something like that. Alright, that sits pretty good. We'll move on to the back. Now this one, if you remember, at the beginning of the video, we got these big ass boots we got to put on here. Unfortunately, ooh, this might be tougher than I thought it was going to be. When I sized these up before we started the project, I thought I was just going to have to narrow this section a bit. I didn't realize how much material there is up here, so this is going to be a problem. Because that is not going to fit. It is not going to fit at all. Hmm. All right, well, I'll start by cutting the slot. Now, if I remove all this, it's we're going to lose some stability. I think we don't have a choice. We got it. We're going to have to cut these off. We're going full custom on this one. That's a spicy meatball. Just pick. Seriously, melting my gloves doing this a little bit. All right, <clears throat> so we got those off. So I'm going to clean this up now. Try to blend it, make it look half-ass decent in there. All right. So, now... We're closer to our goal, but it's not going to fit without some modifications. Something like that. We're going to have to take all that material. Forgive me, camera, for all this dust I'm putting into you. I'm all about the files. There we go. 
So that looks pretty good. We're going to have to do the same thing on both sides. All right, that's pretty good. Clean our area. Get those big boots. Ah, uh, it's like it was meant for it. It's like literally like someone cut holes in there on purpose. Sweet. Well, I must say, all right, so you guys have seen me do this before. I got some super glue gel here. I like to use. Just gonna dab on here. We're gonna dab on here. Like so. Yeah, this is too big. Gonna be a problem. What's we got here? Clear coat. That'll work. I have everything pretty centered so she rolls nice. Alright, one extra dab for good luck on top, just to finish it off. Alright, so we can set that aside. Very very carefully. Look at that over here. <sighs> Last but not least, we got this to deal with. One sad little interior that's kinda of been oversprayed. First thing we're gonna do is I got some thinner here. I mean it looks kind of a little painty, but that's okay. It's just my random everyday thinner. So I'll start by getting some of this paint off if possible. I should just paint this interior to be honest instead of messing with all this. Just paint her. Just paint her up. Flat black. And then move on. Taken too long. Patience, Monty. Sure, I've got some flat black, but you know what would be real nice on a nice pink? A white interior. That would be real nice. It'd be like those sweet kudas. It's kind of that kuda color. So we're back with our chassis. I want to do some details on this thing. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get these bumpers painted. And we're going to chrome plate these bumpers first. To really give our van that sexy look. If you're into any kind of modeling. This liquid chrome is just crazy. That looks real good. Maybe I'll do this around here. And give the back bumper the same treatment here. Well, I didn't want to spoil the surprise of building our van on film just because I figured that would take away from the wow factor. So here it is. The unveiling. Check this out. This is a nice looking car. Our van is sweet. There's a couple imperfections on the paint that I do want to address. Um, mostly due to I just feel that there's contaminants in the paint and I want to strain my paint before I do another car. So I'm going to get some new supplies. Because I really want to do the best possible paint jobs I can on these things. Because, you know, they take a lot of time. So, here it is, guys. Thanks for tuning in this week. In the middle of next week, I'm going to do a Junkyard Redline unboxing. And we'll look at the big lot of Junkyard cars that I ordered off of eBay. And possibly next weekend, we'll be doing a Redline restoration. So, tune in for that. Thanks for watching, guys.